Um, hello, this is a basic tutorial of what a NeoCube is and how the magnets are and basic things you need to know to form awesome looking NeoCube shapes. So a NeoCube comes, there are 216 of these magnets. They're all separate. It's like this and they connect. You can break them up wherever you want to. Connect them, whatever. And it forms a cube, 6 by 6 by 6, so that's 216. And some things you need to know are the difference between lined and interlinked. So lined would be just combining this and it formed two lines like this. And then interlinked would be like you take one and you either spin it around, like around your finger, I guess. You can do that and it'll be interconnected like that or interlinked and another way would be just split it up and put it right on top of each other so that's interlinked so this is the difference this is that's lined that's interlinked so most shapes will be using this um, lined formation so just so you know and there are two basic polygons that you need to know to make um, stuff out of this neocube one is a triangle one is a hexagon the triangle is made by using nine neocubes makes one triangle you just combine that into a circle like so and then press and make a triangle like that and you don't need the center one it's only nine this is much more stable and it works so yeah if you have two triangles you should probably not connect them interlinked like this they'll work better if they're lined like that they just look better the shapes out of it the other shape is a hexagon which looks like this and then you just make it out of 18 neocubes so two triangles basically and you take um, 18 magnets you start off by making six like this the others are still there and you make six a small hexagon then you just go around it and start adding this and it'll be interlinked so this is the main place to use interlinked like that you'll have a hexagon with hexagon you can combine them either like uh, interlinked like that or you can do um, lined like this which is mostly better I think and you can make a lot of these out of 216 join them however you want I'll make three other videos after this one would be like uh, formations from a neocube that don't use triangles or hexagons they're just formations that you can make the second will be using triangles and the third main video will be using hexagons and as I learn more, or if I get more NeoCubes and can make more complicated things, I'll add more videos about NeoCubes. So, the last thing is a card. You should probably have one of these handy somewhere. Not Don't use like a credit card or something because it might ruin it. Just This is just the iTunes cards that I've used. So, this is helpful. This is really helpful. If something's like connected when you're connected and you're trying to take it apart you don't want to mess the whole thing up so if it's like this and you connect it for some reason it makes some shape so you have this if you want to unconnect it you just simply slide the card slide the card right in between it and you can separate it really easily so you don't have to go through the hassle of trying to pick it apart with your fingernails so that's my basic tutorial on the new cube and I'll have some more videos up really soon. Alright, thanks for watching.